So I'm a father of two teenage daughters. Here goes. It was March 1994. Justin Bieber was born. He would go on to affect the youth worldwide. It was March 1994. The Tempe Sports Authority Foundation's Courage Awards were born. They would go on to affect the youth of the world valley-wide. Is it a stretch? I don't think so. Have you ever seen the smile on the face of a Special Olympian or that of a high school senior that is finally realizing that with the scholarship they can actually afford to go to college? It's an awful lot like the smile on the face of someone listening to their favorite song. Here's a look back at 20 years of giving and inspiration. Well, the things that I did learn as an athlete on the football field, I do use now off the field. The determination, the teamwork, the commitment, the blood, the sweat, the tears, is now what I utilize now in raising money for spinal cord research. Being in, wheelchair, in a wheelchair is a sport. It's not the sport that you would pick. It's not football, it's not baseball or gymnastics or swimming, but it's a sport. And it takes the same physical strength, it takes the mental toughness, the physical awareness to be able to maneuver the wheelchair, to be able to transfer, to be able to do the things that you need to do. And so I realized this is what I've been training for my entire life. One of the biggest things I like for people to understand is that I forget about my chair. My chair is like a pair of eyeglasses or contact lenses. I look for it in the morning, and then after that I forget about it. Um, when I'm out at the Boston Marathon or in the Olympic Games or the Paralympic Games, I'm an athlete. There are barriers in life only if you make them or create them for yourself. And my message that I try to give to people is that we all can achieve this. You don't have to do the Iron Man like I do. You just have to see your ability and go beyond seeing a disability or your shortcomings. Succeeding in life is almost, you know, 90% attitude and just 10% of what you can do with that, with that attitude. And, you know, if they can get in the mentality that if I stumble, you can push me along. If I fall, you can pick me up. But if I quit, that's just it. You know, there's no chance for success, no chance to redeem yourself, and there's, there's no chance to, to succeed uh, as an individual. It's that fight that we all have at some point in our life where I battled cancer. Um, other people battle things in the workplace, you know, at home with their kids. Uh, it's that courage that you can find in your everyday life to push forward. Uh, that's really what it's all about, and that's what tonight's all about. Let your light shine, and every autograph I sign is let your light shine, because I'm going to let it shine whether I'm standing or whether I'm in a wheelchair. I'm still Kelly Sutton, and um, I'm going to let my light shine. And even if we have to one day maybe put hand controls in the race car, that's what we're going to do. But I'm not going to stop living. It's all about hope and inspiration. That's the most important thing we can do for each other, regardless of your ability or disability. The one rules I always had was pay the price for what you believe in. Being an athlete is just part of living. Living life to its fullest is the ultimate goal. I, today I'm going to pay the price for, for to, be, to be happy. And I hope everyone here is very happy because it is a great life. No matter if you're in a chair or not, live your life to the fullest, you will be happy. My father was five foot four. My mother was five foot four and a half. <laughs> I'm six foot four, and I'm 260 pounds of raw beef. <laughs> the beauty is I'm adjustable. <laughs> I can be any height you want. I was, I was actually getting filled with the gratitude of having had my prayer answered that night on the sidewalk after having been hit by the car. My prayer was, God, I want to live. And when I woke up in ICU, I was alive. Had I known that I was gonna lose both of my legs, I would have gotten more specific. I remember all too well the fear I felt when I was told I had a pituitary tumor. 
I was facing the possibility that I wouldn't be able to do the things I love to do. But I believe courage is trying to make the best of each situation. The thought of not being able to participate in athletics gave me the courage to face my fears and move beyond them. And there's a fear that rushes over you like no fear you've ever experienced in your life. But whether it's a nanosecond, five seconds, 30 seconds, 30 minutes, you don't know how much time passes. But when it happens, it's so amazing that that fear is instantly replaced with a sense of power and determination and ownership. And I've since come to see that courage it's not something that helps overcome adversity, but it's something that helps transform adversity into possibility. If you never have adversity in your life, you never get strong. If you only had sunshine in your life, all you would have is a desert. So you gotta have rain in your life to make the flowers grow, to make the grass grow. Everybody in this room has a goal and a dream. And I'm here to tell you that through hard work, anything is possible. Don't ever give up on your dreams and don't ever take no for an answer. <laughs>